In this video lesson, we are going to look at how to create a simple macro in Access and then how to assign that macro to an object such as a command button. So we're going to be creating an object and that object is a macro. So make sure we've got the macro area selected and then we simply select new to create a new macro. This is different to any of the other Microsoft Office applications. It's a different way of creating macros. Once we have selected the new macro, we choose an action to perform. Now I'm going to keep these simple and only choose one action, but you could compound these and have more than one action in your macro just by adding more and more rows. So I'm going to keep this nice and simple. When I choose the action, there are loads of actions for you to choose from. We'll look at one or two. We'll just look at the beep action first. That's nice and straightforward. Once you've created macro, we can save it, give it a sensible name, and then OK. Close that down. And we can see there we've now got the macro object called beep. And to run that, we just simply double click it, and the computer is beeping. Not a tremendously useful one, but it shows how to create the macro. We can run the macro using the Run button, and we can go back into Design View using the Design View button to make modifications. Let's create a new macro, and this time to open a form. So we'll click on the Action drop-down, and scroll down to Open Form. We now have some action arguments at the bottom of the screen that we can specify exactly what we want to do. We know we want to open a form, but which form? Well, this is where we choose the form name. Or to choose the customer details form. I'm not going to talk about those other features, but have a look at them, see what it says in the preview box, choose the help, try and find out what these systems mean. Once we create our form, we'll save it with a sensible name and OK. Close it down and again, to run the macro, simply double click the macro and there is the form open. But why? Surely that is just the same as going to the Forms button and opening it there. Well it is, except that you can assign macros to different objects. So I'm going to open a form, the order details form. And what I want to do is create a, a button on here that will open the, the customer form by clicking the, the macro. So we're going to design view. We need the toolbox for this. And again, making sure the wizard is on, let's assign a command button. Let's create a bit of space. Create a command button that we've looked at in a previous video. We looked at a few of these options for the command bush button in the previous video. I want to go straight to miscellaneous where we can run the macro. So we select that, carry on through the wizard, choose which macro to run, the customer one in this instance, give it a sensible name, and then finish. There's the button. Let's see what it does in form view. So we can see there that we've now got a new button on our order details form. If we want to see the customer details, we can simply click on the action button and there is the macro. It's been activated and the customer details form has appeared. Let's try that again. We'll create a new macro. This time we'll open a query. There it is. Which query do we want to open? What view mode do you want? Do you want it to be editable or not? 
you can make those choices save your macro um, stock value and ok close that down let's go back to our forms we were working on the order details so we'll have a look at that in design view and let's add a new button to the side of here let's not have the control wizard on so we can see how to do it without the wizard that then allows you to simply draw a button you then have to alter its properties in order to make the relevant information uh, available now it's an event that we're happening here an on click event when we click the button what do we want to happen and we can choose the types of events from here the macros and there's the stock value close that down of course from there we could have also changed the caption to make that more sensible but let's just see what that does we can now click a button to get the customer details form and we can click another button to run the query back into design view you don't just have to add macros to buttons they can come on anything so for example you might have a field a data field and have you have a look at the properties we've got events there so you can add macros to any of these events on enter as soon as somebody clicks on that field we can run a macro on exit as soon as somebody clicks away from that field or uses a tab button we run a macro that macro might be to check that uh, the data that's been entered um, is the right kind of value the macro might check the value for you so there's lots of things you can do have a good look around the properties of the events and if you really want to get your hands dirty you can use the three dot button at the end to bring up a macro builder and create the macro that way alternatively you can go into code builder and start doing some VBA programming 